welcome back to Greater Ohio's blog. Um, we're talking about transportation this week, and one of the aspects of restoring prosperity is looking at how we can build or restore sustainable communities throughout Ohio. And a lot of that has to do with transportation, and one of the aspects that we definitely want to touch base on is how developers hear about, feel about this issue and how they see the transportation issue and where it needs to be helped. So Gene, what conversations, what have you gotten out of conversations with developers in Ohio? It's been very surprising um, that it, it relates directly back to in the Restoring Prosperity Summit. Yeah. One of the things we kept hearing about was we need to have targeted investments that when the uh, state and local communities invest money, it needs to be very place-based. What we found out from talking to developers is that they will go and build where you have fixed mass transit situations. Okay. That they said if you put the if you put the rail lines out in the street for a streetcar or a light rail, they will immediately start wherever you have a transportation node, which is a fancy way of saying a, a station, yeah. a stop, that they will then start to buy property and increase density. Okay. And if you look at situations like out in Washington, D.C., that where they've expanded their metro system, that wherever they develop a node, you can just see the buildings, you know, way out here, they're still, you know, residential, but as you get closer, they start going up in size, okay. you know, as far as they can, and it's because that the developers see this, oh, look, there's a fixed asset here, and we can now go ahead and they will support mass transit when it's a fixed asset. Now, one of the things that they will that they will not support, not go to, is a bus route. Now, there may be a small exception to this up in up in up in Cleveland. They're doing the Euclid project, and so they have very elaborate stations up there for people. So you have an investment okay. that you're not going to be able to move away from. But one of the developers said this very telling thing. He said. We will not pay attention to a bus line because that's just lines drawn on a map by a bureaucrat on a Friday that can change by Monday. Yeah. We will not make that investment. So as we go forward, it goes back to the whole concept of targeted investments. And by the way, those developers also said they're willing, very willing, to go into what's called a transportation tip. Okay so that the increase of the property tax that's arrived from that goes back to pay off the debt incurred for the establishment of that fixed rail asset. Oh, interesting. They were very agreeable to that, and they're, and they're very much agreeable to going into mass, you know, helping up with mass transit. How this relates back to earlier, we mentioned about Scott Bernstein yep. previously yesterday. Yep, from the um, Center for Neighborhood Technology. Uh, Scott has this beautiful PowerPoint chart that shows how the how the business community views all these cities as a way to as a place to go ahead and invest. Okay. Now, at the at the far end, they have places like San Francisco, Boston, DC. These are all high tax, high regulatory areas. Yeah. Down at the end is Cleveland, Cincinnati, and Columbus. So, it, and then, so this whole, when you look at it from a developer standpoint, you need to ask the developer what it is they're looking for that will enable your city then to move forward on some of these quality of life issues that we think. And you look at from a targeted investment standpoint, what's more targeted than mass transit? Yeah. So mass transit not only will help you develop sustainable communities or restore them, but it also leads back to what we were talking about yesterday in our last blog, where then you have ease of access for workforce and then more competitive workforce. So Exactly. And as far as mass transit goes, I think we're, and it goes back to the ODOT's current financial situation. Yeah. We need to think about moving, moving people and not just thinking about moving cars. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Well, there you have it, mass transit and sustainable sustainable development. It's, it's, an, it's a must, and hopefully we'll move on that way. And please, again, leave us your comments. Thank you.